Yes, did you miss me? Hmm? Really? Yes, you're a good boy. You're a good boy, Mason boy. Mason, will you go make me some coffee? You love me enough to make me coffee. Look who's grinding up some coffee. Well, I am grinding Ooh, up some coffee. Ooh, that makes me happy. Yeah. Fill it up. Wow. What do you see, a puppy outside? You want me to let Sadie in? Oh, well, she's going to still have access to the backyard. Look at the size of that now. Artistic out there. Just beautiful. Just a little blustery out. Another day in the prairie. We should get our own brand of coffee. Oh, like that, yes. <laughs> catnip time. Whenever I make coffee, I've learned to give the cats a little catnip on the scratching post. I've learned every morning to give the cats a little catnip. <laughs> Boys, you behave. Whenever I make coffee, then I give them catnip. They like hanging out with me at coffee time. Welcome to catnip tea. Catnip tea. Simple. Where's where's the catnip tea? Oh, it's in here somewhere. Oh, get those. Sadie, are you thawing out? She likes being outside. Yes, you do. But the problem is, she finds rabbit turds, and then she gets gassy. So, we limit her experience of being outside. Yeah, you're just looking for cocoa pebbles, aren't you? Or cocoa puffs. More catnip. Here I give it to them in two different places and then they eat it together in each place. So I put a little bit here and a little bit there and they share the experience together instead of splitting up and having their own pile. <laughs> Mason's winning out today. Mason likes catnip more than any of our other cats. More than any cat I've ever met. Mason loves catnip so much. Did you find catnip tea? We don't know how our machine works. Oh. You gotta use that other one. There's water on there. Oh, I didn't know that worked like that. I told you. See? It well, I know, but do I listen? No. I don't have that capability. So, yeah, there's a catnip tea. Where's the box? It's in there. We're not marketing anything. I just. Someone. So one of my viewers recommended we try catnip tea. I didn't even know they had such a thing, but there it is. And uh, I ordered that on Amazon. I'm not advertising for them. It wasn't free. I had to pay full price for it. But anyway, um, we're brewing up some catnip tea for the cats. Let's see if they like it. They get a little riley when they have a little catnip. You guys are like bar brawlers, aren't you? Boys will be boys. Mason loves catnip tea. I actually cooled it down for him. Of course, I'm not going to give a cat a, a hot liquid. And I spilled a little bit when I set it down. But So I put a little cold water in there. And when it brewed, he was standing up with his paws just trying to get to the coffee machine. He was sniffing the air. So I thought, well, maybe he will like it. I thought catnip tea was actually just for people. I had no idea cats would actually smell it and love it. He absolutely loves it. This is really a surprise for me. <laughs> I suppose it shouldn't be a surprise. I mean, catnip is something he loves. But he smelled it out while it was brewing before I even could do anything. I had forgotten, actually. I hit the button and walked away. And Karen said, what is he trying to get after? And he had his feet paws right up on the table here, and he was sniffing. Karen's actually thankful for not having boys because they wrestle too much. And real boys, I mean. And the cats prove it because these two guys, they, they all wrestle all the time. And they get a little rough with each other.
Federal Express just came to the door with one of our packages and Mason growled at him. <laughs> He's our watch cat now. And then if I say, look, Mason, he, he looks out the window for what's going on. What's out there? What do you see? Yeah, you're trying to act like a cat, but secretly deep down, you know that you're uh, like a puppy. <laughs> That's going to make people mad to say that. But no, he's a smart cat. That's the thing. If you allow your cat to learn things verbally from you, they will respond. You just got to help coax them into learning. Cats are harder than dogs. They're a bigger challenge, which is why I like cats. They're a big challenge. And they can learn things. Right, Coho? Yeah, he knows his name, too. Yeah, you're a good boy, kitty cat. Mama's reading her book. I think Coho is fixing the snuggle with Karen. It's a beautiful day in Minnesota. I'm so glad we came back. I actually am glad. It doesn't look, it sounds like I'm being sarcastic, but I love my house. I love my yard. I love where we live. I love our life. And I love the memories that we made when we went on trips. Like the trip to California, we have a little bit of footage of that a few years ago. And now our trip to Arizona. We, we haven't traveled much in life. I hate buying airline tickets. I really do. It's a, I feel like it's a waste of money. I can fly my own airplane, but I don't have one. Hi, good girl. You're a good puppy, aren't you? Yeah, you're smiling. Look at that. That's the Sadie smile there. <laughs> She lays there and wags her tail. Yeah, you're a good puppy, aren't you? Yeah, it's a smiling dog. Yeah. Who's a good girl? Yeah, who has bad breath? <laughs> good girl. Who's a good girl? Yes, we missed you too. Where's the kitty? Where's my kitty? Oh, yeah. You're a good girl. Yes, we missed you too. Yes. <laughs> the three beautiful cats that missed us severely. And one old sleepy dog who doesn't hear. She doesn't hear what's going on at all. Sadie! Sadie! Mason, you're such a character. Mason looks like he would smoke a cigar. <laughs> Coho would play hockey. Dakota would become a fur rug. <laughs> Three cold kittens sitting on the bed.